Hello everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to X Defiance Season 2. Now, before the video starts, I gotta hit I gotta tell you guys to hit that like button down below as well as the comment and subscribe if you want to. That'd be pretty fucking cool. But welcome to season two of X Defiant. Currently I'm using the M44. I'm a, a, basically a sniper. Because every shooting game I play that has levels and camo unlocks, I normally go through every weapon and level them to at least like 100. In this game, I have to get them all to max, but I'm currently getting them all to like 100 first and then doing it from there, basically. Although, I need to say, I am not a good sniper player. I am a horrendous sniper player. So I apologize if you expect some like clips or some hardcore level sniping because... That ain't me. I don't snipe, so I'm just trying to hope and do do the best I can. So uh, hopefully you don't hate me for it, but that's fine. If you came here for like prime time sniping, you're genuinely going to be let down, and I don't know what to say other than sorry. But if you came here for just some so a, a chat about season two and everything that's going on, then welcome. Like I already said, my name is Arch, and I didn't hit him, but I'm gonna, I'll take it. Oh no. But yeah, so season two came out, it released a new map, a new faction, and a bunch of fixes, buffs, nerfs, and on and on. I think it released a new, um, a new attachment too, not entirely sure, I could be wrong. Probably I'm wrong, but it's fine. Right now, we're just enjoying the game for what it is. Currently, we're playing on the new map, which is called Waterfront. It is a Far Cry New Dawn inspired map, just like the faction for this season. Although I have said already, I don't snipe. I'm not a sniper, so I'm not going to get very many kills or I'm not going to go off on one. This is live commentary. This isn't a post commentary or anything like that. But we're just doing what we do. Playing the game, I'm gonna not. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna deal with that, but there was a guy behind me with a magnum. I don't know this map like 100% yet, so I don't know all the, the choke points and the sniping areas and stuff. There was a fucking proximity mine right there. Also, I'm gonna go over some like hate bait and like all that shit that goes on because I've seen lately in a lot of YouTube videos that people do a lot of like rage hate bait and complaining about things that are just dumb as hell so people turning out turn around like oh my god x defiant dead x defiant's dying like season two is not gonna help it it's still dying it's a dead game and you shouldn't be playing it go play call of duty and on the other the other like threshold of things is people going oh my god like the call of duty black ops 6 maps are fucking trash fucking terrible like they showed us what the what the maps are and everything and you get lots of people saying, oh my god, the fucking trash is too small. They're absolutely terrible and horrendous. And it's it's just a massive, like, dick-sucking party on each fucking end. And I, <laughs> it doesn't benefit anyone. Will I play Black Ops 6? Yes. Will I play X Defiant? Yes. Do I think one's better than the other? No, it's just what I want to play in the time playing. I'm not one of these people that's going to fucking bitch and moan and cry and whinge when something doesn't go my way for a game do i hate skill-based matchmaking yeah do i think it should be completely removed from every single game not really i think it should be tuned in a certain way or only be active in ranked game modes but that's that's my opinion on it i'm not gonna go in any deeper and be like a conspiracy theorist and say nah it they're doing it on purpose. They're doing it for the money and all that jazz because oh Man the amount of YouTube videos you get these days that go on about like How skill-based matchmaking works how EOMM works or if EOMM in games and all that shit It makes me not want to fucking play <laughs> like PvP games And I know people just say well don't play PvP games if, if you feel like that's the way and that's the thing like I'm not one of these people that are exceedingly butthurt about certain things and I'm just doing what I do and playing what I play and enjoying what I'm doing. Because I was I was on a game for so long before when I used to do YouTube 
that depressed me more than anything. And yeah, that game didn't have any skill-based matchmaking or EOMM or anything like that. And it was still absolutely fucking miserable. But that's fine. We're, we're playing new games. We're doing new things now. And X Defiant is a part of that. And honestly, so far for season two, like the new gun, the new map and all that jazz, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. The hit detection is fucking crisp, I've noticed. I've noticed the hit detection is a lot better than, than it was considering like previous. I mean, I made a video like talking about the hit detection and my thoughts on it with like, say the marksman rifles and certain guns that it wasn't very good with certain weapons and I think that's like gone now I haven't used a marksman rifle but the fact that like when I hit someone and they die sorry I die but I got that last hit in now it actually does damage so I'm happy with that like it's feeling clean it's feeling quiffy and hopefully you guys are enjoying season two as well if you do enjoy season two let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of season two is it doesn't have to be the new map or the new guns it can be anything from like just quality of life changes or just enjoying the game uh, new new content good stuff I'm gonna die i have to reload that's me dead i don't know how i lived that but fair enough also, might be a little bit of a short video, but I just wanted to get your opinions on season two and how, how you think it's going so far. Because me personally, I'm, I'm genuinely loving this game. I really am. Was I a big meat rider of X Defiant before? No. Honestly, I only got into X... I played X Defiant on launch. And then I stopped playing and started playing again at like the, the back end of season one. So like... I'd say about 20, 30 days before season one ended. That's when I started playing X Defiant like properly, like again. And that's what I've just been doing. I've been playing it since then and enjoying myself. So I genuinely think the game is going exceedingly well. That's just me though. Like I said, tell me your thoughts. And if you want to see more just talking videos where like it's like this and it, what I mean by it's like this is just live commentary videos not where I'm recording a game and then putting my voice over it in the end this one is literally me playing at the same time as talking so if I'm a bit backwards or I say things that don't kind of make sense that's that's just part of it so thank you all so much for watching you've been amazing and I will see all of you in the next one so yeah let me know your comments and thoughts down below. Goodbye.